Hey y'all, it's Matt from TPSTool.com. Uh, I've gotten some questions recently about some ski -Doo models, in particular the MXZ600, and I want to go ahead and show that we can read the TPS on this guy. Uh, unfortunately, this model, the TPS is not adjustable. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, so on the TPS itself, so I'm focus here, notice the screw, I've removed one of the mounting screws, is round, it's a circle. If, if the TPS is adjustable, it'll be a slot, and you'll be able to slide it. Uh, let me grab a TPS with a slot to show you. Okay, so this is just a, a TPS I had handy. Notice how this mounting hole is not a hole, it's a slot. That allows you to rotate the TPS a little bit to make an adjustment. And again, on this one, uh, it's just a hole, and so it's not adjustable, but we can read it. Uh, so we, the, we uh, ah, where am I going to start? This is the TPSTool.com Pro Powered Meter. comes with a whole bunch of adapters. In this particular case, we're going to use the universal adapter, which has individual wires that we can plug in. We don't have an exact fit plug for this model since it's not adjustable, but we can read it. So what you do is take these little individual guys, and these plug onto the pins down here in the TPS, so I get it to focus, and you just plug one onto each pin. And in this case, I'm going to plug them in this order. This is hard to do when I am on this side of the camera and not looking straight into it. There we go. So in this order, green, red, black, and then on the meter itself, we're going to put black into ground, red into FB or feedback, and green into 5 volts. I'm trying to get this to focus. There we go. Okay, turn the meter on, and there we go. So what you can use this for is to check the TPS to see if it's working properly. And you see as we open the throttle, you see the numbers go up smoothly all the way to full throttle. There you go, 4.2 on this model and back down smoothly. If the numbers jump around or go to zero, then you know the TPS itself is bad. Nice and smooth like this, and uh, it's working properly. And we'll snap it a couple times, get to close all the way. And there it goes. So that's where this one's set at idle, um, 1.73. You can use this if you want to uh, set the idle by the TPS value. If you, I'm, I'm not very familiar with this motor myself personally. Sometimes you can use the TPS setting to actually set things. Uh, this, the ECU might be expecting a certain idle setting. You can make adjustments. Uh, things like that. But the TPS itself on this model is not adjustable. You can read it with this tool. I hope this helps someone. Please post uh, comments below, subscribe, let me know if I can help in any other way. If you have a model you'd like to see, please post in the comments and I'll do my best to, to get that part and, and make a video about it. Thanks a lot.